Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess HLC, and welcome to Mystery Skulls Animated. Play it again. A fan game. Now, this is a bit of a, a complicated little scenario here, because while this is a fan game, there is various things at play with this, if you're not familiar with it. For one, uh, this is an animation done by a man named Mystery Ben and his team, based, well, somewhat inspired off of the Scooby-Doo franchise, but obviously way more complex than just a bunch of kids solving mysteries. And it's got a lot to it just by the two animations thus far that they've done. That's done around the songs from the band Mystery Skulls, hence the title of this. So I would suggest you watch the animated, um, well, music videos essentially first before you ever check out these this particular game just because there's a lot of storyline to it uh, strangely enough in a music video that's basically a, a whole storyline centered around three kids well two kids a dog and a ghost I almost don't want to spoil anything but I may have to over time but I would suggest watching the animated films first, uh, Mystery Skulls Animated Ghost and Freaking Out. They're both really well animated, the music is good because it's Mystery Skulls, and the storyline is definitely really interesting just by the two that they've done, and there's supposed to be like six all together, but obviously it takes a long time to animate, but anyway, I'm, I'm rambling, this is, let's just get into the game. Yep, see, this is a fan game character, story, and general settings do not belong to me, but to Mystery Ben. And I will be pointing out stuff with it as well. It has nothing to do with the making of this game, correct? And here we go, we got the little car here. Alright, and we got our three friends here. Although I'm so used to hearing, like, the music and just kind of bobbing their heads up and down. Yikes, what's wrong? I'm not sure. I think, uh, great, you killed the car. Actually, this is pretty much the... So, there's nothing I can do. Strange, then. Well, then, time to get some help. In there? I have a bad feeling about that place. Don't worry, if it's haunted, I'll protect you. Haunted? Alright, so, I, I, let me at least explain so far. This is basically the opening to the animation ghosts thus far, with our three protagonists here. Uh, the girl, her name is Vivi, and she's very much into the supernatural, and she's, according to Mystery Ben's Tumblr, the creator behind their group, Mystery Skulls, who go around, like, f solving supernatural phenomena. The dog, who was obviously, like, the Scooby-Doo character, is her pet dog named Mystery, obviously, as a reference to the fact that this is, um, based off of the Mystery Skulls music. And the third guy, the third person in the group, who very much is a shaggy-like character, his name is Arthur, and he is apparently a mechanic, and he also has a prosthetic arm, if uh, you can kind of tell from the video and such. But, okay, we are here at the beginning of the the music video where their car breaks down in front of a spooky mansion in the middle of who knows where. And I guess we're just going in to check what's going on. Just curious. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that tells you right off the bat here. Vivi's the leader, Mystery's the mascot, and Arthur's the mechanic. Let me just save really quick and jump right in. It opened on its own. Fascinating. How about we don't go in there? Not an option. Yeah, our car kind of broke down out there, and you can't seem to fix it, Mr. Mechanic. I like how they basically got the design of the characters. Whoa, look at this place. I'd rather not. What happened? The door closed, Arthur. I know you're the shaggy-like character of this, but calm down. Just the front door. Calm down. Well, it's locked now. Are you serious? Yep, but there's nothing we can do, so let's keep going. Sure, why not? 
Whee! Oh my gosh! This time I might just disappear. I'm gonna have this stupid song stuck in my head. I've had that song stuck in my head for way too long. It's I really like this music video. Can't you tell if I'm doing a fan-made game on this? Alright. Oh my gosh. Ghosts! Jinkies mystery! Oh, we're fighting them. The Deadbeats. They are, in fact, I think, called the Deadbeats. Oh, crap. What do we do? We can't fight those things. We'll have to make a run for it. I'm surprised there's no music here. Weird. Alright, well. Let's, uh, let's get the hell out of here. Do you think we lost them? I don't think they're following us. If we encounter some again, we should try to escape to different rooms unless we find something to fight them with. Wait, are you planning on staying here? Of course, who knows what we might discover here. Also, the doors are locked. My thoughts exactly, mystery. Enough talking, let's explore. Hey, there's some music. Seems to be a painting, how ordinary. This one looks a bit unique. The head is off. So, so help me take the head off. Fine. There's something written inside of it. Sitting room, rightmost cupboard. Huh. Not sure what that means, but okay. They aren't as far as the eye can see. These things are unsettling, you think? Yeah, because in, uh, in the music video, it tries to take your head off. A normal painting. These things are unsettling, you think? And then we got something about this painting that's odd. I feel like I could just reach in. Don't touch it! What the... I did it! A sun has been added to the inventory. I can't believe that worked. I don't know what that was. Alright, doesn't look like I can interact with these things, but now I have a candle. Well, okay, so nothing here. And actually, in the music video, there is a point where they go down a hallway getting attacked by the suits and not armor, and the paintings actually do come to life and sing to them and then throw them in a trap door. And they're all, like, various references to, like, either the Mystery Skull, or, uh, the original music video by Mystery Skulls, which is kind of exorcist-based, or they actually have one where the character is based off of Rarity from My Little Pony. Various different kind of stuff like that. Hey, what are you doing? Just writing something down in my notebook. It's always useful in situations like these. Yay, Vivi's notebook is in the inventory. Because why the hell not? So, we're already kind of going off track with the, um, with the music video. Obviously, you can only do so much, but okay. Well, here's something on the wall. It looks like a few notes. A melody, I guess. Do you think it has a purpose? Maybe, I don't know yet. If it starts playing one of the Mystery Skull songs, I'm going to be surprised. Those used to be yellow flowers. Now they're dead. This makes me feel horrible for some reason. Maybe you're just a sensitive guy. <laughs> yeah, that's also kind of a reference. I think that might be a reference to freaking out because there's a thing with flowers in that one, but I'm not touching on that one at this point. A plant of sorts. All right. And then we got another one. Don't touch the evil looking plant. Too late. Anyway, look what I got from it. A moon has been added to the inventory. The sun and moon? What is this, Pokemon? Okay. Interesting so far. Let me just, uh, let's see. I got a small moon, a small sun, and then Evie sings. Let's see here. Check last entry. That's great, Vivi. Alright, fine. Write an entry. No pad entry. Um. I don't know. Help. There. So does that actually show up in my, uh, my notebook? Help. <laughs> I like this notebook. Okay, fine. Let's keep going. So far, I'm really kind of enjoying the design of things. Okay, let me check these cupboards. Nope. 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 A candle. The door is locked. Look at that. Look at what? 
It looks special, don't you think? If you say so. Somehow I feel like it's watching me. Maybe it is. Don't just say that. Well, Vivi is very much into the supernatural. Like, at the opening of the music video, I'm gonna keep talking about it. She is all starry-eyed and like, Oh my god, this is so exciting! Whereas Arthur and Mystery were like, Oh crap, we're gonna die. Anyway. Ah, I'm here in a sitting room. It's another candle. There's a lot of candles in this place. There's some things in here. What should we take? Uh... I don't know. I guess we could take the candle. I don't know what else to take. This one's slightly open. A key has been found. Nothing but empty drawers. Just some knitting utensils. Knitting utensils? That's kind of odd, considering what I know of the residents of this area. Ooh, greetings, gray visitors. Why is that thing talking? Who are you? Paintings don't talk, Vivi. Me? I'm no one, but I offer guidance to those who need it. If you do, I will be here. Don't ignore me. Can I help? Definitely. Splendid. What do you need? How do we get out of here? It is not your destiny to leave. Not yet, anyway. That doesn't answer our question. Not really. You will leave, but only when the time is right. Yeah, at the end of the music video. Alright, let's see. What else you got, Mr. Painter? There's a locked door. There's always a way to open doors. Focus on where you can go and you will find new ways but where do we look for what it, it is you say we need to look for it is a close observer who will be rewarded with victory you're not exactly helpful mr ghost what's with these purple ghosts the deadbeats are residents they're usually quite tame but they will punish visitors for making foolish errors well if anything they'll sing to us hopefully ah blue flowers they're pretty Again, I, I feel like that's a reference to the other one. Does the key work on this? I ended up getting a key. It's just an ordinary key, so I don't know. Hmm. Questions, questions, and more questions. Does the key work on this door? I'll bet it's definitely a different feel without the Mystery Skulls music, but I, I would assume that they don't want to get a copyright claim on doing that, and I, I'm grateful for that. So, what about this door? Hey, We locked out on that one. Fireplace room. This place is definitely much bigger than we expected. We don't have time to read all these, which might help a way out. Some red flowers. Looks like there's something underneath there. You're right, let me get that. A star. Who, me? No, I'm just kidding. Some fire irons? Anything in the fireplace? Nope. Seems to be something written down at the back of it. 0436. Might be useful for something. 0436. 0436. What's it at? On instruments. Mostly even on ones on keyboards. Are these the real plants? I don't know. Anyway, 0436. 0436. 0436. The door won't open. What a surprise. But look, there's some kind of compartment. Maybe you need to fill it with something. Like what? Um. Uh, it looks like a skull. Okay. I'll wait on that one. It might be a skull. Skulls are kind of important in this. If you're not careful. Ooh, what's this? Ground corridor. Hmm, bunch of buttons. Okay. Oh, four. Six. Three. Ground corridor still. Okay. No? Was it four, three, six? Okay, so that was odd. I'm saying kind of compartments. Hmm. Um. Oh, I want to say a sun. Remove? No. Okay, let's put this, the moon in this one? I don't know. Weird. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to play around with those. Uh, for now, let's go upstairs. Nope, that's locked. Hmm, maybe the key can open. Nope, okay, that key doesn't work. Need a fitting key. That's locked. That's locked. I'm getting a very big Resident Evil vibe by the layout of this mansion. Nope. Nope, okay, so none of those keys fit. By the way, that's very awkward how it just goes down like that, but... Alright, so what was it again? 0436. Ah, I was backwards. Okay. 0436, not 0463. What am I thinking? I'm so silly. Okay. Oh, four, three, six. Cool. Okay, so we got a star, a sun, a moon, and something else. Okay, so the one room has the star and the sun, and the other one has something in the moon. Wonder what the th other one. The elevator list has been updated. Ground corridor, sky room. Okay. This is a weird ass way to operate a a elevator. Why is there an elevator in this place anyway? Okay, so. This one has a has the star and the sun in it. All right, so star and sun. Isn't that what it was? No. Okay, fine. I'll remove that. Okay. Uh, the moon. No. I'm very confused now. There's gotta be a trick to it, and I'm just not seeing it. And yeah, I do have a feeling those flowers are referencing something. Maybe I have to pull out the right item from the drawer here? Oh hey, there's something under this table. Maybe we should leave it be? No way. How are we ever going to figure out the, anything about this place? I'm taking this. Nothing, what was it? What did I get? Um. Oh, a planet. Oh, okay. What's the guest list here? Huh. No, so this is unreadable. I can see that. Okay, well, I got the planet. So maybe now I can actually set this up correctly. Maybe I have to do all four in order to get it right. So, all right, so we put the star here, the sun here, and then on the other side, we put the planet, and then the moon. Yeah, something happened. I think the doors are unlocked. Sweet, I'm saving. Because I don't know if this is going to end badly or not. So which one should I go through first? I guess I'll go through this one first since I'm right here. Looks to be a ballroom. Full of deadbeats. Flee! Okay, so... That happened. The deadbeats are on my ass. Let me try going through this door. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember this. Okay, so two, one, two, three, four. Uh. Nope, okay, I totally forgot it. I don't think I can fight these things, so. I don't even know why they give you that option. Okay, so I'm gonna have to memorize this thing. Alright. Here we go. I have paper, so it should be okay. Alright, so. 
Two up. Two up. Four right. Two up. Let's see here. I go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, about six, it looks like. Six to the left. And then two down. Then two right. Or two left, I mean. And then up about four. And then it looks like about five right. And then, I don't know why it has a little branch off on the side, but then it looks like I go four up, so. Alright, let's try this then. Alright, so. One. Two. Oh, whoops, I went a little too far there. Very cute, Mr. Deadbeats. Just thinks that I have to go all the way back to do it, but okay. Okay, so. One, two. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, and up we go. Cool. And I gotta make my way back. Why am I gonna make my way back? Okay, so it looks like I just go down one and then just bolts to the side here. The corner is getting pretty dark here. We probably shouldn't walk in like this. Let's focus on something else, like getting out of here. Are you kidding me? I have a freaking candle. The candle is like right here. Oh, this, having it is completely pointless. Then why did I pick it up? Alright, fine. I'm gonna have to make my way back then. This sucks. What was the point of me coming this way if I can't do anything? Um. Nope, okay. Well, either way, I could just flee the deadbeats and I should end up back where I was, right? Yeah, basically. Okay, so... What am I supposed to do here? Is it the little side area on the side? I don't know, this is very weird. Hmm. Hmm. There might be something over there on the side there. Alright, why don't I check that out? One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Oops. Ah, another deadbeat. Thanks, deadbeat. Alright, so let me actually look at that again. Alright, so it looks like I gotta stop at the one gray from the bottom. Okay, so, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, whoop. Alright, okay, so it's one, two, and then, two, yep. and this is the spot, but there's nothing here. What's the point of me coming in here? I'm very confused. Like, why do I need to go through that? I've, I must be missing something else before I could properly go through that corridor. But I'm not quite sure what yet. Oh, wait, I see. There's a little passageway next to it. I didn't see that originally. Alright, 
right, so. Two. There we go. Okay, that makes sense. A music room? I think so. Interesting. A music stand? Why did everybody gather around to look at a music stand? Sheet music. Oh, hey, this looks like one of those guides you help to help you start playing. Nice. Take it? Yeah. Guide to the music. And this is empty. And then we got some piano wires. At least it's not draped over anything. Sweet, a guitar. Why would there be a guitar here? There's a music room in a haunted mansion. Anything is possible. Yay, I got a guitar. And we got a keyboard. Can you turn it on? Yeah, but all the keys seem to be stuck. It's like there's some kind of lock on them. Damn, can you fix it? Nothing to fix. I think it's a feature of this thing. We need to find some key, I guess. Hmm, I think I saw a book on keyboards somewhere. Violin, too bad none of us could play it. Yeah, everybody, like, has their own favorite kind of instrument to play. Like, I believe, like, the dog really likes the drums or something. Those four tiles resemble a huge keyboard. Now you mention it, they do. There's a big old B on the far left. There's a B on the far, or is that a flat on the far left? Maybe they are playable. And it looks like if you do it wrong, you just, uh, you get attacked and you have to flee. Interesting. Hmm. Well, this is definitely a really interesting game, I must admit. I'm probably going to end up finishing this in another part, just because I kind of am enjoying the mystery of it. I mean, I haven't even gotten to the good part of the animation yet, so... I guess we'll see what happens with our three protagonists later on, and see if we actually follow the music video, well, ma animated music video, pretty accurately. But for now, this is Star Prince HLC saying thank you very much for watching, and have a fond farewell.